Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Moleskin Notebook Tool Belt. If you've watched any of my other Moleskin related videos, you probably guessed I've been looking for some way to carry pins with my Moleskin Notebook. Now, both of these notebooks that I have here are the hardcover versions, and these are the small ones. But my problem is further complicated by my moleskin notebook of preference is the soft cover one and this is the one I carry with me currently every day so I've been looking for something that will work that will allow me to carry something with my notebook and you know kinda have it attached normally what I do is I shove my notebook and a couple of pins in my pocket and I was kinda hoping though that there was a more compact way to carry it and although this is kind of a neat this is kind of neat I kind of like this one and this one also isn't bad and I'll include the links in the description to this and to the video for the quiver the one pin version and the two pin version if you want to check them out but I'm still trying to find one that's a little better because neither of these is really perfect and I also want I would like one that would work with my soft cover notebook so I figured I would give this a shot. Now this also has a huge advantage over these two. And when I got this one, it was like $9 on Amazon. The two pin version, I want to say when I got it was around 20. And this one was actually like 30 bucks. It was, it was the first one I tried and I was kind of excited about it and it's a little expensive. And I'll include links for this one in the description and if you're interested in these other two you can get the links off the other videos or you can just search Amazon for them. Anyway, um, figure what I'd do is I'd open this one up and give it a shot. So step one is how to open the box. Hmm. Well, I happen to know a solution to most box related problems and that is to Use a knife. Maybe use a knife. Huh. I could just slide it out. <laughs> I was almost tricked by a box. Now here we go. Alright, so it looks like this thing slides out. Haha, uh, -ha. it does. Okay. See if there are any obvious instructions. Keep it all in one place, etc., etc. Zipper pocket. I saw this part in the description where there's like an inside pocket for it. I'm super doubtful that that's going to be a good idea. But, who knows? Let's give it a shot. Okay. So much for the packaging. And this is the little thingy. So. Let me undo it. It's not Velcro or anything. It's like the other one I'm assuming. And it's elastic. Okay. So, it's definitely not quite as fancy as the other two. It's more of a canvas kind of material. Like fabric instead of leather. And as a zipper pocket. with a pouch here and a little pouch here. Okay, this is definitely much less expensive and less interesting than these other ones. Alright, so let's try this on the hardcover one first. I think this is the easiest one to take off, so I'll take this one off this one and we'll give it a shot on the hardcover first. Alright, so just like the other ones, I'm assuming it slides on and the elastic does its thing. Alright, well right away, it's much easier to attach. You still have the problem with the other ones where there's a it, it bows up the cover a bit. But that's not terrible. I don't know what you would keep in here see if it has any kind of suggestions on this. No. And the back of the box 
suggests tiny, tiny thin strips of paper. Mm. Kind of unnecessary. But maybe you can stick something in there. I can't see you sticking anything really thick in there. Maybe if you want to, you could stick like a couple of dollars or something. Like some paper money. The problem is, I don't see why you wouldn't just use this back pouch instead. Alright. So, let's grab some pins. And we'll try sticking some pins in this. So, let's see. Not too bad. And let's grab some big awkward pins. See how they work. A couple of normal ones. Alright. So normal Sharpie. No problems. So you definitely get more pin storage out of this. I'm kind of starting to like it. And let's try some big pins. In this case, this is that stainless steel Sharpie. And this is a Sherpa pin cover, which is pretty big. Probably the biggest pin I have. So these work with no problems. And you can pretty much get three pins in kind of cool okay so that's not bad and how about the zipper pocket I don't think the zipper pocket is going to be super practical let's see let me grab some change I'll probably shove some change in here, as would be the easiest option. So I've got some a couple of pennies and some of the random dollar coins. And so if we shove these in the pouch, because the picture showed like a USB drive and a bunch of other stuff. So if we shove these in, and then we try to put pins in, does it hurt at all? Okay. No. It doesn't seem to hurt it at all. It bows up a little bit, like as you can see from the side. It's a bit thicker, but I mean that's to be expected. But it I mean like the pins don't aren't harder to get in and out. Huh. That's surprising. Okay. That's kind of cool. So let's check out how this works. Give me back my Coins. I think there's still a penny in there. Did I lose a penny? It's not the easiest thing to manipulate. I suspect if you are not going through life wearing a pair of white gloves, it will be much easier to manage. Alright, so there we go. Penny solved. Penny problem solved. Alright, so the big question is. Will this work on my soft cover moleskin? And the answer is maybe. Let's see. Alright, here's my here's my journal. And here's the current list of post-it notes of videos that I had to post. I was trying to remind myself up. By the way, this thing comes like it's easy. It's so much easier to put on and take off of these covers than the other ones. This one is very snug. This one, I think, is better to like the ideal level of snugness because it's one of those things like if you slide it on, like so, it's not gonna come off. It's not gonna just like fly off. But it's also easy enough to get on and off. It's not bad. Anyway. Let's give it a shot on the soft cover one. The problem with all the other ones is they were so... The elastic was so tight, it would actually basically fold up the cover. 
So let's see. I still think that these kind of things are going to be too much stress for the soft cover in general. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, okay. It goes it goes on okay. You can close it up. Load it up with big huge pins. All right, and that's kind of exciting. So let's see. Okay. It's a little inconvenient to fold flat, like so, but I kind of think that's a problem with anything you put on the cover. Hmm. This is kind of a surprise. So, based upon my experience with the Quiver 2-pin version and the Quiver 1-pin version and the Moleskin tool belt, I suspect the tool belt is winning. I'm going to have to give this one a shot. The only concern I have is I, I'm worried that having this stuff on the cover when I open it up is just going to bug me too much. I mean, it's going to it's gonna irritate me because I tend to write on both pages. I write on this page and on this page. And it's okay if I'm holding it because right here, when it sits like this, it's basic, it, it, it's flat. You're, you know, the, the fold of your hand kind of cups the the pin holder and so it's not a problem there but if you if you'd like to lay your journal flat and write on it I think it's gonna be a, I think it'll be an issue and I don't know how to fix that issue I think it's just a problem with having stuff on your cut co the cover of your journal hmm. anyway I'm kind of excited to give this a try carrying it around kind of cool looking it's not it doesn't have the level of style or class of either of the quivers but it also is the first one that seems to have any chance of working with a soft cover I kind of think what you might want to do and I might have to try this is I have like a where is it at here we go I have like a little I, I, I care I basically made a little like pencil board using a laminator and some graph paper and what you might want to do is you might want to make like a cover liner like kind of like to give your cover a little extra reinforcement because I'm a little concerned that this will just destroy the soft cover over time one good thing about this though is also, I ran into this problem with this one, where you see how right here, the, the leather is thicker than the elastic. And what would happen is, when you would have the leather, let me show you real quick. When you would have the leather, and you would put it down, problem was that what would happen is as this leather got closer and closer to the spine what would happen is you run into a big problem where you, you'd, you'd almost be breaking the, the spine of your journal right here let me fix my glove you'd be breaking the spine of your journal right there you can see it it like starts to bow up a lot and you can't slide it really all the way to the edge and Ideally, I think what you want is you want something that sits if for something on the front you want something that sits like right here because if you have it over here It'll interfere too much with the elastic closure And so you could like for this one 
the best spot is kind of in the middle. Like, maybe... It's like you want it just... You want this one just far enough in to basically sit like right beside where the elastic would go. Now, we count it, make sure the elastic isn't crossed. There we go. Anyway, you want it to sit like right beside where the elastic would normally go. But with this one, since, since the inside is pretty much just the thick, the very thin elastic, it can slide all the way to, you can slide all the way to the edge and you don't have quite that, oops, it can slide all the way to the, to the spine and you don't have quite the same issue with it like basically breaking your spine, the spine of your journal. Hmm. I'm, I am generally excited about giving this a shot. And at $9, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm I'm excited to try it, and for nine bucks, I'm I'm not upset that I'm tr going to try it. Let's see, and I mean, it does it will you can pull it off pretty easy. And so that's not bad. Um, anyway, if you have any suggestions for other ways to carry a pen with your journal, now. I have a, one of my main issues is I do literally carry my journal in my front left pocket and I carry it flat and so, I mean, it's bendy so it fits, it fits not uncomfortably and so that's a partial issue that I run into with like what I carry with it. I'm thinking this might not be too bad because it, it will sit, like my leg would be here and it would sit like this and I don't think this would be too bad. Anyway, if you have any suggestions, or you have any questions, or you have any ideas, any other ways I could do this, uh, just leave a le just leave a comment down below. If there's anything that you would like to see me review, or if you have any suggestions, you can also leave a comment. And if you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you, and I hope that you have an excellent day.